finally, maybe some good news on Ebola. And if this is true, this is a game changer. Um, I got this off CNN. Doctor treats Ebola with HIV drug in Liberia, seemingly successful. Um, you'll see in the article that the results are amazing. If this works, and there should be a, a pretty wide availability of this drug. But let's, we'll get into the details later, but let's see if, if, this is, I guess, the, the litmus test. If they want to stop or, and or cure this thing, they'll immediately administer this drug. If not, then we know what their real agenda is. But let, let's dig into the article and see what's going on. A doctor in rural Liberia inundated with Ebola patients says he's had good results with a treatment he tried out of sheer desperation, an HIV drug. Dr. Gobi Logan has given the drug Lamavudine to 15 Ebola patients and all but two survived. That's a 7% mortality rate. Across West Africa, the virus has killed 70% of its victims. Outside Logan's Ebola center in Tumbmanburg, four of his recovering patients walk the grounds, always staying inside the fence that separates the Ebola patients from everyone else. My stomach was hurting, I was feeling weak, I was vomiting. Elizabeth Kundu, 23, says of her bout with the virus. They gave me medicine, and I'm feeling fine. We take it, and we can eat. We're feeling fine in our bodies. Kundu and the other 12 patients who took Lamavudine and survived, receiving the drug in the first five days or so of the illness. The two patients who died received it between days five and eight. I'm sure that when patients present early, this medicine can help, Logan said. I've proved it right in my center. So, if you take, if the people that have taken it within the first five days, 100% have survived. 100% of the people have not died. That's amazing. It's absolutely astounding numbers. Logan is mindful that Lamavudine can cause liver and other problems, but he says it's worth the risk since Ebola is so deadly. He also knows that American researchers will say only a real study can prove effectiveness. That would involve taking a much larger patient population and giving half of them Lamavudan and the other half a placebo. He says, our people are dying and you're talking about studies, he said. It's a matter of doing all that I can do as a doctor to save some people's lives. Logan said he got the idea to try Lamavudan when he read in scientific journals that HIV and Ebola replicate inside the body in much the same way. HIV is a, uh, excuse me, Ebola is a brainchild of HIV, he said. It's a destructive strain of HIV. At first he tried an HIV drug called Aclixover, but it didn't seem to be effective. He then tried Lamavudine on a healthcare worker who'd become ill, and within a day or two he showed signs of improvement and survived. Dr. Anthony Fauci, director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, said that theoretically Logan's approach has some merit. Lamavudine is a nucleoid, analog and other drugs in this kit class are being studied to treat Ebola. So I looked up the drug and it's made by GlaxoSmithKline, which is interesting because they're the company contracted to make the vaccine. And MAP Pharmaceuticals uh, makes the ZMAP, which is the treatment. So it's going to be interesting to see if, if GlaxoSmithKline will abandon the vaccine work or at, at the very least also try this Lamavudine as a treatment. So, like I said in the beginning, now now we have something to go on. If the government, if if this company Glaxo doesn't do this, or if they're like, oh, it's going to take a study in, in six months and we have to do this the right way, BS. ZMAP was emergency approved and, and given to the doctors. So you can also emergency approve this. And this doesn't even need to be approved. It's already been approved. It's being given to people currently. So all you really need to do to prove or disprove this effectiveness is just start giving it to people with Ebola. There's enough patients around, unfortunately, that you can just go into clinics and start treating people with this the same way this doctor has been treating people. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, then... No harm, no foul. Keep trying the vaccine and keep trying to produce ZMAP. But if it does work, we have a readily available supply of drug that has already been approved by the FDA. 
that is currently being given to patients for HIV and for hepatitis B. So all you really need to do is try it and stop this double blind placebo nonsense. Just start giving it to people. And if it works, it works. And within the first five days, as it said in the article, all of the people survived. So if you can get it to the patients early enough, this may be the magic bullet. This may be the cure that nobody thought would come. So good news, finally, good news. But like I said, we'll see the government's true intentions now. Their, their feet are being held to the fire, or should be held to the fire, if they decide not to do this, or if they delay and stall. So we'll see their true intentions, and now we'll know whether they want people to die, whether they want this pandemic that, that people have been calling for to, to reduce the population. So the ball's in their court. This is, this is simple. Give it to people and see if they get better.